Hey, what's up, Brandon? YouTube land, Elric Ferris, editor in chief, here once again on the motherboards.org YouTube channel. Well, check it out. For AMD fans, today has been a day that has come long awaited. The new 69 series cards from our friends at AMD have finally hit the market. Now, these cards are replacing the old 58 series cards that came out before, and they're supposed to compete right about with the GTX 570 from NVIDIA. So this is the Cayman finally hitting the market. So check this out. We've got the new card from XFX. This is the XFX HD Radeon 6970 card. So follow along as we show you all the great new features of this card, how fast is it against the competition, what it costs, and whether it's worth your money as the end user at the end of the day. Let's check this out. Okay, the new AMD Radeon 69 series features a dual graphic engine of the new VLI W4 core architecture, which you can see illustrated here. It also has a fast 256 bit GDDR5 memory interface. AMD has busted out some new features here, which is the Enhanced Quality Anti-Aliasing, or EQAA, and there's three types supported. Adaptive Anti-Aliasing, Super Sample Anti-Aliasing, and the new Morphological Anti-Aliasing features. You also get the new AMD PowerTune technology. Now, what this does is this either increases your performance by 20% or decreases your performance by 20%, whether you're in gaming or non-gaming mode. This is pretty cool because it actually can make your computer save energy when you're not in gaming mode. The card also features fifth generation vapor cooling. Now what the vapor cooling does is it helps get all of the heat away from the GPU. Now for efficiency and acoustics, this makes the card run cool and also keeps it from being very loud in your PC. For those of you guys into the iFinity technology, this card supports up to six monitors out of one card. Here in this illustration, you can see how this is done. Now onto the specifications of the HD6970. You've got a core clock of 880 megahertz. You've got the stream processors of 24 SMD, and you've got texture units of 96. You've also got a frame buffer of two gigabytes of GDR5 memory. The memory width and speed, as we talked about before, is a 256-bit memory interface. The power to maximum limit is 250 watts. The typical gaming power watt is a draw is 190 watts, and idle is 20 watts. You need also an eight pin and a six pin power connector, and the display outputs are two DVI, two mini display ports, and one HDMI. All right, so now we can see the scores have come in and we can see where this card competes at. This card is just slightly faster than the GTX 570. It doesn't beat the GTX 580 from NVIDIA, so the fastest card still on the market is the GTX 580. Now, the 580 costs $499. It does run a little bit hotter and has a little bit more power consumption. So being the high-end card, it also has those drawbacks. The new 6970 card, it's a little bit longer than the GTX 580, but it also has less power consumption and it has a lot of great new features. So coming in at about $380 for the XFX card, I give this card a seriously hot product award here on the motherboards.org YouTube channel, and thanks for watching.